What's up gamers and on gamers and today I'm gonna have the first adventure of my life. I'm just got out, out of school. I'm not gonna show out the place, but you could just see a building that's an apartment by the way. And right now I'm gonna be heading to the to Sitar. AKA only Nathan knows about that place. Yesterday but yesterday you saw you might have saw in the video I uploaded about me and Nathan getting kicked out. Nice and getting kicked out of it. Okay, so right now I just dropped off my stuff as you can see. I don't have the stuff on me anymore. Right now I'm heading to the bus stop so I could get to where I'm going. Um, where I'm going, I'm going to a jazz radio station. There's some other guy, there's some other guy, kids, or kids, teenagers. And right now I'm just going down the bus. Going down. Okay, so right now I'm just heading towards it, to the bus stop. Right now, I just got the sitar, and it's so very amazing that I'm still alive, and I'm still not in panic mode because I'm gonna come back by myself. So that's a very big deal for me, and I'm going by myself. That's the good, that's the bad thing. So my first adventure, and it's all just going on YouTube. So I'll talk to you guys once I get to the heads. To the, to, once I'm, yeah, never mind. So as I was saying before, I got cut off. Um, my the other video I posted yesterday, that one. I actually did get kicked out of what's it called of Target with Nathaniel Nathan versus Games. He will also be in the link in the description below and in the end screen of this video. Uh, all I wanted to say is that right now I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped that it's my first time going by myself somewhere. My mom has accepted me doing this. Right now I'm about to get to the bus stop and I think I'll see the bus. So I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Guys, I'm about to get there. I got a little lost. I went down to I Street and I'm supposed to be on K Street. No, I think I'm about to get there. I hope so. For now, I'm going to leave you guys again. Even though this is like 14 seconds that I'm taking me some of the time. Just proud of myself that I'm making it. My parents are. I'm a substitute DJ today. This is my first time doing this. Exactly. I said I said the only way I can do this is if my students can come with me. And they were like, they were like, okay. But half, like, a fourth of your students came today. Right. Yes. WPFW listeners, you are in tune to the Jazz and Justice Fantastic Friday edition. I'm your host, Ty Hustle, sitting in for Mr. Bobby Rocks. And we have some special guests here in the WPFW studios from the Sitar Arts Center, which is 
a nonprofit arts education center in the Adams Morgan neighborhood here in Washington, D.C. And I'm just going to start out by telling you a little bit about the center. Uh, the mission of the center, Sitar Arts Center, advances the critical life skills of underserved children and youth and prepares them for achievement in the 21st century through visual, performing, and digital arts education in a nurturing community. And we would like to speak directly with some of these Sitar Arts Center students who happen to be gracing us here in the studios. We have Mr. Christopher here, uh, who is a DJ, a percussionist, a music producer, a recording engineer. And uh, Christopher, why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience at Sitar Arts Center? Well, my experience at Sitar Center was pretty amazing ever since I was little. It helped me a lot. It grew me bigger in my personality and in how I act. It really changed me a lot, technically. Mm. And uh, what, what are your favorite things over there to do? Well, one, DJ, of mm. course. Mm. Two, using the drums sometimes, doing percussion. Mm -hmm. Also, getting to know new people mm -hmm. as new classmates, new teachers, yeah. and yeah. Yeah, so would you consider it to be a, a welcome place where anybody who's interested in taking any kind of arts class could just stop in? Totally. Yeah. So um, what else can you tell us about it? What is, what is it like as far as the, the setting inside? Well, it's always so joyful. Mm -hmm. It's always so communicative. Mm -hmm. Sometimes also, what's it called? It really makes the people feel enjoyable, mm -hmm. happy, mm -hmm. and what's the other word? I forgot the other word, but... That's all right. Are we seeing kids there? Are we seeing adults? Who, who's, who's over there? Well, we're seeing all types of people. We're mm -hmm. seeing adults children, yeah. Everybody. All right, let's have Miss Darren Coates step up to the mic. I just got out of the control room. I bought myself some drinks. I bought myself some drinks. Okay, thank you. So, this is pretty long. We're going to be here. So, uh, see you in a while.